Hi, folks. I wanted to do a little bit more talking about uh, Amber Heard and uh, why I believe that the cancellation of Amber Heard is warranted and necessary. And some people are saying that uh, maybe it's a little bit hypocritical for me as a canceled person to be supportive of somebody else being canceled. And I wanted to make a video uh, why it's not. Because canceled culture is a relative statement. Canceling is a relative statement. Um, and yeah, sometimes somebody is so bad that they deserve to be canceled. Um, we're not talking about um, Al Franken making a, a, a pranky photograph. We're talking about a bad person. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, why Amber Heard needs to be canceled and why we need to regard um, Me Too differently. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to say we should disregard Me Too. I do want to say we should disregard believe all women. We shouldn't believe all anyone. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about Amber Heard. Uh, number one, most importantly, Amber Heard got her due process. She went to trial, a jury trial. We all saw it. We all heard the video. We all saw the video. We all heard the recording. We know what kind of piece of shit she is. We know she's an abusive person. We know she's a bad person and she has had her time in court. Two, she's an abuser. She's not taking pictures and she's not having bad thoughts. She's not an alleged racist. She's not an alleged conservative. She's not a Trumper or this or that. She's an actual abusive person. She's an actual abuser. She's the kind of person who frankly is a criminal in my non-legal opinion. And uh, she should not be profiting off this at all. Criminals shouldn't be allowed to profit off their crime, and she shouldn't be allowed to profit off this at all. And the fact that she is third, number three, she uses feminism to her advantage or to as, as a tool, and I find that repugnant. The fact that one of the recordings had her taunting J, uh, Johnny Depp nobody will believe you because you're a white man and nobody will believe a, a, a white man would be the victim of domestic abuse. Makes me want to say fuck you really bad, right? Makes me want to really, really get angry on that. Uh, and then for her to come out afterwards and say, oh, you know, she had her jury trial. Everybody knows what an abuser she is. Everybody knows what a piece of shit she is. And she's coming out and saying, oh, the big, strong white man won again and he's so powerful and strong that they just couldn't see... And she is um, using feminism, okay? And that brings me to this other point. This brings me to back to Believe All Women, right? Women using feminism. The idea behind Believe All Women was that making a false allegation against a person um, was so painful. So now I have a company of a little tiny dog who's going to be disturbing me a little bit, but that's okay. So... When it comes to um, Amber, again, uh, we have to realize that anybody can be a bad person. It, it was supposed to be that nobody would, uh, uh, no, no woman would falsify a bad, uh, a, a rape claim because that would be bad to all women. First of all, it would, be, it would make it so much harder for the real rape victims to, and no woman would do that to all the other women because they, you have the sisterhood. Um, and that's complete bullshit, uh, obviously. And... What we're seeing here today with, with Amber is that she is a, a full-on bad person using feminism to her advantage and hurting people. And that warrants cancellation. And what that also means is it, 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 we can use this, okay? We can use this. We, You know, when the whole thing came out, I posted that me Too is dead and Believe All Women is dead. And I got some backlash from some of my uh, good friends that Me Too is still a necessary thing. And you know what? It's true. Me Too is still a necessary thing because there was so much. I don't know what to what degree it is. There was so much sexual assault going on with the Harvey Weinsteins. Harvey Weinstein deserved to be called out, deserved to be put in jail. Um, and, you know, nobody supports nobody supports sexual assault, especially at the workplace or especially as well as at the workplace. Um, but what we have to understand is, is it wasn't the Me Too part that was the bad thing. It was the Believe part that was the bad thing. Uh, 
It was the believe all women, believe all victims, believe all purported victims. What we didn't understand then, or what, well, frankly, I did understand and I've been saying all along, but what a, the country didn't really understand is that power doesn't change a person's ethics, okay? Power or lack thereof does not change a person's ethics. You can be uh, strong and a horrible person. You, you could be you could be powerful, 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 and horrible or good. And you can be absolutely powerless and awful or good. And so when you said, you know, you, when we have a, um, a situation like like with Amber, or we when we have Me Too, you know, uh, a Me Too situation, we have to be realistic. We have to be truthful with ourselves. It is so easy to prejudge, Ooh. right? No. It is so easy to prejudge. It is so easy to say, well, I'll just believe the woman. I'll just believe the victim. Um, I'll just believe the person who's making the charge. But the fact is that anybody can be horrible. Anybody can be a bad actor. Uh, uh, a black or white, male or female, gay or straight, trans or cis, and boss or subordinate. Anybody can be a bad actor. Anybody can be a horrible, horrible liar doing this for personal gain and not caring, caring at all about how it affects other people. Anybody can be an Amber Heard. Anybody. And uh, so, yeah, um, cancel Amber Heard because she's had her due process and she's terrible and we all know it. And Me Too, uh, still relevant to a point, I guess. I'm not really sure. Uh, but believing as a default is bullshit. Even, and when it comes to believe all women or when it comes to um, Me Too, believing the purported victim as a default is bullshit because we all know and we should know by now that people can say that about their bosses to get their bosses fired so that they can advance or because they don't like their bosses. That is a reality and I wish it weren't true because it would be so much easier if it weren't true, right? It would be so much easier if we could just assume that everybody was being honest and good and that nobody would, would be so low as to use feminism, as to use rape victims for their personal gain. But that's exactly what Amber Heard did. And that's exactly what we all heard on those tapes. And she's a movie star. Anybody can do this. Anybody can be bad. Anybody can be terrible. Anybody can be a horrible liar. And I think that's what we've learned. I think that's what we've learned from from uh, from Amber Heard. At least that's what I've learned from Amber Heard. That anybody can be terrible. And prejudging is um, often wrong. So don't do it. Uh, thanks for listening. Talk to you later.